The Taximan Story by Catherine Lim, Little Ironies, Stories of Singapore. Passenger, take me to National University of Singapore, please. Make it fast because I have a meeting to attend and I need to be there on time. Taxi man, very good, madam. Sure, I will take you there in plenty of time for your meeting. This way is better, less traffic, fewer jams. Half an hour should do it, so not to worry. Passenger, have you been a taxi man for a long time? Taxi man, what did you say, madam? Passenger, I asked if you've been a taxi man for a long time. Taxi man, ha, ha, yes, yes. I've been a taxi man for 20 years now, madam. A long time ago, Singapore was not like this, so crowded, so busy. Back then, it was more peaceful, not so many taxi drivers, cars, or buses. Passenger, oh, you must have been working so hard. Taxi man, yes, madam, I can make a living. SOSO. What to do? I must work hard if I want to succeed in Singapore. People like us, no education, no capital for business, we must sweat to earn money for our wives and children. Passenger, do you have a big family? Taxi man, yes, madam, quite a big family, eight children, six sons, and two daughters. Big family. Ha, ha. No good, madam. In those days, where was their family planning in Singapore? People had many children, every year, one child. Is no good at all. Two children, three children, enough, stop. Our government says stop. Passenger, lucky for you, all your children are grown now. Taxi man, yes, four of my sons are working, one is a businessman, two clerks, one a teacher in a primary school. Is in national service, and one is still schooling. My eldest daughter, she's 20 plus, stays at home and helps her mother. Passenger, is your daughter already married? Taxi man, no, not married yet, very shy, and her health is not so good, but she's a good, obedient girl. My other daughter, oh, madam. It's very hard for a father when a daughter is no good and goes against her parents. It's very hard, like a punishment from God. Today, young people are not like us when we were young. We obeyed. Our parents said, don't do this, and we never did. Otherwise, the cane. My father caned me when I was old enough to be married, and still, I got the caning. My father was very strict and it's a good thing for parents to be strict. If not, young boys and girls become useless. They don't want to study, but run away to nightclubs, take drugs, and make love. You agree with me, madam? Passenger, yes. I absolutely agree with you. Today, young people are trouble for their parents. Taxi man, see that young girl over there, outside the coffee house? See what I mean, madam? Yes, they are only schoolboys and schoolgirls, but they act as if they're big shots, spending money, smoking, wearing the latest fashion, and making love. Passenger, that's true. Even though you're just a taxi man, you're aware of the behavior of teenagers today. Taxi man, ah, uh, madam, I know. As a taxi man, I know their habits. Madam, are you a teacher? Passenger, yes. Taxi man, did you know, madam, that young schoolgirls, 15, 16 years old, go to school in their uniforms, but after school, they don't go home? They have clothes in their school bags, and they go to public lavatories or hotels to change. They put on makeup, and their parents never know. They tell moms they have school meetings or sports and games, but they're really out playing the fool. Passenger, I see. Taxi man, madam, you won't believe how much money they get. Last night, a young girl, very pretty, with makeup and a sexy dress, told me to take her to Orchid Mansions. She opened her purse to pay me, was full of American $10 notes. She just pulled one out and said, keep the change. Madam, these young girls make more money than I get from other passengers. Passenger, you must have seen a lot. Taxi man, Ah, uh, madam, if I told you everything, there would be no end to the story. But I will tell you this, if you have a young daughter, and she says, Mummy, I have a meeting at school, don't just say yes. You must ask where and why, and find out. 
Yep, today, cannot be trusted. Passenger, why are you telling me this? Taxi man, because, madam, I have a daughter I love very much. She studied hard, got good report cards, good work, excellent, all that. I had high hopes for her to go to university. None of my other children could go, but this one was very smart. I was so proud. Taxi man, but one day, I was driving my taxi, and I saw a girl who looked like my Lei Chu. She was with other girls and some Europeans outside a coffee house, dressed up with makeup. I couldn't believe it was her. My heart felt very heavy. So, I watched her closely. Taxi man, the next day, I saw her again. I was so angry. I rushed up, grabbed her, and slapped her. She screamed, but I didn't care. I dragged her to my taxi and drove her home, where I beat her. My wife and neighbors had to pull me away, or I might have killed her. I locked her in her room for three days. I told her teacher she was sick. How would you feel if you were in my place? Passenger, is everything okay between you and your daughter now? Taxi man, yes, madam, everything is okay now. She only leaves the house to go to school. Her mother checks everything, her friends, what she does. I cannot trust her anymore. Passenger, can you wait for me after my meeting? Taxi man, sorry, madam, I cannot. I must go to Hotel Elroy to pick up more passengers. Thank you, madam, for your payment and for listening to my story. Passenger, thank you for sharing your story with me.